Hi everyone, this is Liviu from Bitdefender and today I'm going to be sharing with you some information about a very common piece of malware known as ransomware. Ransomware is a file encrypting type of malware that restricts users from accessing various types of files, documents and even pictures. It then asks victims to pay the equivalent of $300 to $500 in bitcoins in order to decrypt the files. Because the encryption used to lock the files is sometimes difficult, if not impossible to break, victims usually end up paying because they don't have a backup from where to restore their critical files. Naturally, both security companies and the FBI do not encourage giving into ransomware as paying these fees only encourages to fuel other cybercriminal activities and continue the development of new strands of ransomware and other malware. Because it has proven to be such an effective money-making machine, with more than half of victims usually paying, malware developers even came up with ransomware for Android devices, Linux operating system, and even Mac OS. While currently Android ransomware only has the ability to encrypt data that's stored on your external memory card, it is very persistent and difficult to remove by less tech-savvy users. By locking users out of their smartphones, they are left with either wiping the device clean and restoring it to factory settings, or paying the ransom. As for Linux, the first ransomware sample showed up somewhere in late 2015 and fortunately we were able to quickly come up with a free tool that could decrypt and restore affected files. Linux ransomware is particularly dangerous as it mostly targets servers by leveraging unpatched vulnerabilities. Mac ransomware was also spotted for the first time in the wild in March 2016. Delivered by a tampered popular Mac application, it was proof that Macs could also be successfully targeted by ransomware. At Bitdefender, we've been working hard at developing new technologies that can protect users' files from being encrypted by ransomware. More than that, we've also been offering a free tool, also known as a ransomware vaccine, that can, for some types of ransomware, intercept the encryption process and allow users to regain access to their files. The catch is, you need to install it prior to experiencing a ransomware infection and not afterwards. Anyway, for more technical details on how the tool works, please check out labs.bitdefender.com. That's it on my side for now about ransomware. I know you guys have a lot of questions both about ransomware and other security stuff, so feel free to drop us a line in the comment section below or hit us up on Facebook and Twitter.